Ashton, let's talk about uh, one of the companies which is giving out these loans, uh, China's fifth biggest lender, China Merchants Bank, looking to raise some cash. Bloomberg Stephen Engel is following that story, and he joins us from Beijing with the details. Steve, actually, I don't know if China Merchants does mortgages, but it certainly does loans. Yeah, that's true. To the small companies like uh, small to medium-sized enterprises, uh, exporters, uh, uh, the ones that have been hit hard by this global recession, uh, they may actually face more challenges than the bigger state-owned peers. Uh, it focuses lending, as I said, to SMEs. And uh, three-quarters of China Merchant's corporate clients, Paul, are smaller companies in China. It's a big reason why uh, the bank's profit fell 33 percent in the first quarter as lending margins uh, narrowed. And it was about that time in late April, early May, that we started hearing talk of a possible rights offer from this company. Uh, but the board of uh, the Shenzhen-based lender uh, has now approved this, as you can see the details on your screen, planning to raise as much as 18 billion yuan 2.63 billion U.S. dollars through a rights offer to boost core capital. Uh, it will sell as many as 3.8 billion shares to existing uh, owners of A shares in Shanghai and H shares in Hong Kong. The price and timing, though, of the rights offer has yet to be decided. And I point out at the bottom there, you see, it still needs Chinese regulatory approval to go ahead. Timing is key here. The bank's stock price has rebounded. It's up 63 percent in Hong Kong since its last quarterly results in April. A shares in Shanghai up 89 percent so far this year. Let me just check how it's doing so far today in the opening minutes. 6,036 is the stock code. It is down two and a quarter percent uh, on this news. China's banking regulator has urged publicly traded lenders to raise their capital adequacy ratios to 12 percent by the end of this year to help them withstand the impact of the global financial crisis. Uh, at the end of last year, the car of the China merchants was 11.34 percent, so just under 12 percent. Core capital ratio was about 6.5 percent. Uh, the capital adequacy ratio is a bank's ratio of capital as uh, in relation to exposed risk. And many banks, of course, as we've been reporting, Paul, have been uh, starting to slow their lending after record advances in the first half. There have been some uh, fear of asset price bubbles forming in the market and a fear of non-performing loans as a result. Sticking with the banking sector quickly, I want to add in a Bloomberg exclusive story, state-run lender Agricultural Bank of China may soon get a key strategic investment ahead of its eventual IPO. China Life VP Liu Jiaode telling Bloomberg News that the world's largest life insurer may buy a stake in agricultural bank and then sell insurance policies at its branch network. It has more branches than any other bank in China across the country, Paul.